yeah, I got quite the treat for you today. So we're going to be going over Suspense List, which is a new component from the Experimental React version. So let's just jump straight into this guy. We can import him like so from React. And what he does is we can wrap him around some suspense elements. So here I have a number which I am loading asynchronously and a person which I am loading asynchronously. And if we take a look at how this loads, when we refresh the page in our application, we can see it says loading number and then we can see this right here. Now you'll notice if I refresh, the name pops up first and this shows it's loading in. Um, so basically this loads a lot faster than this does. So what I'd really like to occur is to specify an order to the way my async data flows in. And that's where suspense list comes in. So I can say suspense list around these two guys and I can say reveal order is equal to forwards. And then what this is going to do is it's going to say, wait for this to finish loading, and then you can display this one and so on. So it can take a list of suspense guys and uh, display them in the following order. So even if loading person comes and loads in quicker, it's not gonna show it until this is finished loading. All right, so let's see that in action. So we'll refresh. We can see it shows the loading for both, and then both of the data loads in. So we can see that the fallback are displayed for both of them until they're both ready, right? And yeah, my loading number just displays an X for now. That'll make more sense in a second. Um, and then another cool prop that we can pass into this guy is called the tail. And one of the properties I can pass in is hidden. And you can see it will show no loading indicators or aka no fallbacks whatsoever, right? And then it'll just show the data when it's done loading. And then there is collapsed. Give that a save. And you'll notice it's going to show the loading num indicator. And then it shows um, this. Basically what collapse does is it only shows the first loading indicator that it hits. So if we put this at the top, it'll make more sense. So let's slow it down to go to the network tab. We'll do slow 3G, we'll refresh. And what we'll see is it's gonna show a loading person indicator and only this. Uh, and then when it's finished loading in the person, it's gonna show the loading num indicator. So you can see it kind of uh, goes down, 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 down. Now we can also in this reveal order, do backwards, and it just does the inverse, right? So it's going to load the last element, and then or sh show the last element. L this is different than loading. This is very important to note. Um, we're we're loading stuff at the top level here. This is just the order that we display elements. So it's very important to to know that it's just displaying, not the order we actually load them in. So that's something I need to make sure to keep clear in my mind too. Um, all right, so the last reveal order is called together. And this you can't use with a tail. And what together does is it just has to load them both in together. All right, so it waits for both of them to be done and then it loads them in. All right. And so that doesn't really matter what order they're in. The same thing's going to happen. It waits for them all to be done and then it shows them. Uh, so one thing that I just was playing around with, with the suspense list, was to create a grid. Because we can actually nest a bunch of suspense guys and nest suspense lists as much as we want. So we can have a suspense list inside of a suspense list. And so I was playing around with uh, the different props you can pass in and then one version of it that looks nested. And I create a little grid that I'll show you guys, which may help you just visualize uh, this in action. All right. So what my grid does here, you can see all these X's are popping in, is they display a period, and then that is the loading fallback. 
and then when it loads in, it displays an X. So each one of these is a async call. In this case, I'm just calling a set timeout. And so each one randomly takes uh, between one and 10 seconds. Maybe it's one and five seconds. It's either one and five or one and 10. I can't remember what I did. Um, but it's going to take one and five seconds to randomly load in. Right? So click this to reload it. You can see how they just kind of randomly load in depending on what their timer is. And you can see they just kind of load all over the place. This is what happens when you don't use suspense list and we just use suspense and these guys are just whenever you get the data you load it in. So then this is what it looks like if we were to use a uh, suspense list and we said load in forwards or reveal forwards. Um, so you'll notice we see all the loading indicators and then you'll see it's going to slowly come in. And you'll notice they kind of come in in batches and that's because React will batch them into chunks. We can also push backwards. It'll do the same thing, but it starts down here. Um, bottom. Oh, I'm probably blocking, guys. So let's. Uh, I'm not used to being this big. Maybe if I scroll it, I actually don't know the best way to just display the bottom right. Here we go. Maybe something like this. Actually, then you're not even going to be able to see it because it's so small. Just pretend like it's loading in from bottom to top. Let's go zoom back in again. All right, then we can press together, right? This loads all of them all at once. So we see our loading indicators and then they pop all in. And then I'm just gonna refresh cause tail hidden works better when I refresh and tail collapse works better when I refresh beforehand. Uh, so let's see tail hidden. So you notice it's gonna show no indicators whatsoever. Uh, and then they're gonna slowly load in as they, sorry, they're gonna slowly reveal in once they're loaded in. Uh, See tail collapse? No, it's not going to do it for me. Let's refresh. Uh, and then if we set collapse for the tail here, what's going to happen is we can see the loading indicator one at a time um, for the one that it's loading. And again, you'll see a batch together. And then lastly, what I did is I nested these things into groups of three. So I have, um, if we press this, you can see it's loading in a suspense list of three and then will load another group of three, and then it reveals all of them because they're kind of batched together. So this is when me actually nesting the suspense lists inside of each other. Um, and this is just a CSS grid. So that was just something that I did to help visualize some of the different modes. So that's the different ways you can use suspense list. Really the main use case is when you want the elements on your page to load in a specific order um, and the API may respond with the data in a different order than you want to display them in. So here you can actually explicitly pick. So this is a pretty cool element that I think will be pretty useful actually. Uh, yeah, that's it for this video guys. Thanks for tuning in and watching me.